To ensure the correct installation and use of the Rotorol automatic hose reel, follow these instructions carefully. Wall mounting. The Rotorol is designed exclusively for wall mounted installation. Never use the product in any other way. The hose reel must be mounted to a brick or concrete wall using the screws and masonry plugs you'll find in the pack. Cut out the template printed on the box and secure it horizontally at the chosen installation point. When selecting the position, remember that the hose reel must be able to swing through 180 degrees unobstructed. The mounting position must be no more than 75 centimeters above floor level. The distance of the reel from the water tap must be between 60 centimeters and 1.5 meters. Using a 10 millimeter masonry bit, drill four holes into the wall at the points marked on the template. Insert the plugs and proceed to secure the hose reel bracket with the screws. Insert the pivot into the hole with the plastic cap upwards. Now fit the hose reel to the pivot. Make the connection to the water tap using the hose with the quick click couplings and the 3 quarter inch tap connector. Connect the spray nozzle to the hose. Your rotor roll is ready to be used. Using the hose reel. Pull out the hose to the required length. Now draw out two more coils and hold them steady. Let the extra length go. The soft block device will lock the hose automatically in place. This device will only operate if more than two meters of hose are unwound. To release the hose, pull it forward about 10 to 20 centimeters. To rewind it, walk the hose end back to the reel. Should the hose slip out of your hand, the soft block device will automatically hold the hose in place. To release the lock, tug the hose forward again. Release procedure. If the hose is tugged when already pulled out to its full length, it may remain stuck. If this happens, the hose may be released using the tool provided. With the hook end pointing to the left, Insert the tool through the left-hand side of the slot occupied by the hose. When the hook engages one of the teeth on the drum, pull the tool out as far as it will come. Ease the hook back slowly into the casing as the drum is released and begins to turn. Twist the hook end slightly to the right to remove it from the slot. To rewind the hose, walk it back to the reel. maintenance and safety. After using rotor roll every time, turn off the water tap and rewind the hose completely. Leave the spray nozzle in the open position so that water can drain off. The rotor roll can be cleaned using soap and water only. Do not use alcohol, solvents or other chemical cleaners. During winter, remove the hose reel from the wall bracket and store it indoors in a sheltered place. Do not attempt to open the rotor roll casing unassisted to inspect or repair the internal components. The spring of the rewind mechanism may shoot out from its seat. If the rotor roll doesn't operate properly or parts need to be replaced, please contact a clubber dealer.